Hello, and welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. Today we're doing some conversions of grams to moles, or vice versa, and moles to atoms. Remember, when converting grams to moles, we use the molar mass in grams per mole from the periodic table. And moles to atoms, it doesn't even depend what element that is. That's based on Avogadro's number, 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd. Let's do some sample problems from our moles in an element worksheet. Problem 12, how many grams are in of 3.88 moles of helium? Well, let's start with our given. 3.88 moles of helium. There's our given, given times conversion factor. So there's our conversion factor. We start by writing the units we will cancel. We're going to get out of moles of helium. And let's consult our road map. Can we go directly from moles to grams? Why, yes, we can, using the molar mass from the periodic table. So we'll go directly from moles of helium to grams of helium. And we know we always put a 1 in front of mole in conversion factors. So the question becomes, how many grams of helium per mole? Let's look at our periodic table. There's helium. Uh, we're going to use 4.0 grams per mole. So, 4.0 grams per mole. Let's see. Moles of helium divided by moles of helium cancels. We're left with grams of helium. That's what we want. So, let's write our answer. 3.88 times 4.0 comes to 15.52, but we're going to give three sig figs since we started with sig, three sig figs, and conversion factors don't affect sig figs, and our units, grams of HE. And there's our first answer. Question number two will be number 19. A different question, how many moles are in 1.85 times 10 to the 24th atoms of boron. Wow, that's a big number. Of course, atoms are very tiny. Let's see, can we go directly from moles to atoms? Yes, we can, just using Avogadro's number. So, let's write our given way over to the left. 1.85 times 10 to the 24th atoms of boron times a conversion factor. Let's see, we're going to get out of atoms of boron and into moles of boron. And we know in front of moles, we always write one. So uh, how many atoms? Well, I know Avogadro's number. It's 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd, and uh, let's see, atoms of boron cancels atoms of boron. We are left with moles of boron, which is what the question asked for. So we just take our calculator, we do the math using our EE button, 1.85 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6 times 10 to the 23rd equals to 3 sig figs, 3.08 moles of boron. So there we go. There is our answer. We do three sig figs because our input number was three sig figs and conversion factors don't affect sig figs. Okay, last question number 23. How many atoms are in 39.5 grams of gold? Well, let's check our road back. Can we go directly from atoms to grams, looks like we have to go through moles, atoms to moles, and then moles to grams. So let's do it. We'll start way over to the left, since it's a wide problem. Our given is 39.5 grams of gold times, and we're going to need two conversion factors. And we get out of grams of gold into moles of gold and out of moles of gold into uh, atoms, atoms 
of gold. All right, we know in conversion factors, we always put a 1 in front of moles. And how many grams of gold per mole of gold? Well, that's the molar mass. How many grams per mole? Let's see, 196.97. We round that to 197.0 grams per mole. How many atoms of gold in one mole of gold? Oh, I know that's 6 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, conversion factors don't affect sig figs, so we'll expect three sig figs in our answer. We put an equal sign. Oh, let's cancel our units. Grams of gold over grams of gold cancels. Moles of gold over moles of gold cancels. We're left with atoms of gold. That's called respecting our units. And let's write the answer. Uh, that equals, uh, on my calculator, 1.20, 1.20 times 10 to the 23rd. That's a lot of atoms of gold. Uh, atoms of gold. And there we have it. There we have it. Um, I can't resist the, the equation, converting this equation from F to C, so let's do that really quickly. What do I do first? Well, I'll divide 32 from both sides. So F minus 32, or actually subtract, equals 9C over 5. And now how can I get both sides equal? Well, I multiply both sides by 5 over 9, and I've got my solution. C equals something. Um, check school loop notes for the complete answer. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful. Have a great evening. Ta-ta!